Oh my god, stop the presses! <gasps> This guy just demonstrated that teleportation is real and you can do it with the power of your mind. Everything we know about physics, it's wrong. Everything we know about the universe, it's, it's a lie. They're lying to us. Teleportation is real or it's a magic trick and uh, magic isn't real. All right, welcome back to Magic Isn't Real, the place where I try to replicate the claims of the supernatural with my very natural skills in order to question the validity of such claims. It has been a while since I have done a good old-fashioned replicating a claim of the supernatural with my magical skills, but thankfully, Mr. Ernest Vitter is a source of magic tricks and magic effects that I can do. But first of all, let's kind of recap a little bit really quickly what's going on. In case you are new to this channel and you don't know what I'm talking about, welcome. Consider watching the video until the end. And then if you don't mind, subscribe. Literally, it costs you nothing. It literally means nothing for you to click that subscribe button and that like button while it would mean a lot to me and I would truly appreciate it ernest Vitter at we this guy i've talked about this guy so many times of this channel honestly i'm getting tired but he keeps on providing amazing content so i'm not gonna stop until he stops his latest stance is this so he claims to have all sorts of amazing abilities pyrokinesis telekinesis levitation in this video one of his former students he claimed that he has learned to perform teleportation. And then let's let's be clear. We're not talking about a magic trick here. We're talking about real teleportation. Like this guy can use his mind to move an object from one side of the table to the other. Like, like the object disappears from one side and reappears on the other side. Like real actual teleportation that defies any logic or laws of physics. And the most outrageous thing is that apparently... This guy learned how to perform real teleportation in less than a month using the Ernest Vitter system. Don't bullshit me. And just so, you know, just for clarity, how much does it cost? $1,700! $1,700! Jesus! Okay, before I show you how I can do this trick with my magician skills, what does the curse actually get you? Like, do you get your money's worth? So let's see what the description of this class actually says, all right? Teleportation. The course opens the veil into the secrets of teleportation. With this course, you will learn in theory... 60% <laughs> of the time, it works every time yeah guys let's not forget this very little tiny detail that um <clears throat> you're gonna spend a thousand seven hundred dollars and it's not a guarantee that this is gonna work for you and uh, if it doesn't work for you there is no money back no if it doesn't work it's entirely your fault on the other hand let me tell you something uh if you want to learn how to perform this trick, like how to actually do it and perform it, you can go on my Patreon. I know some of you might say, why don't you just, why don't you just give it for free? Well, because if they, if they can charge you $1,700 for the real deal, it's only fair that I charge you less than 20 bucks for the magic trick. You know what? You're here to see me perform the same trick. Let's just do that. Let's just not waste any more time. I know probably some of you are already left this video or they're really mad that I'm still talking. So here's my version of the Ernest Vitter uh, student Alex teleportation trick. Enjoy. All right, teleportation demonstration. I have the coin. I have the table. There is nothing on the table and here's the magician look there is nothing up my sleeve as a matter of fact i don't have any sleep now let's do this let's teleport this coin from here to here with my mental powers boom 
I know that some of you are gonna start nitpicking the shit out of my video saying how it's not the same, it's different, he's doing it this way, you're doing this other thing, yours is suspicious. For the sake of clarity and for the sake of making this video slightly longer so that I, it can help with the YouTube algorithm, I'm gonna play you my clip again, but this time it's gonna be side by side to Alex's one so you can see how it's pretty much the same exact effect it doesn't mean that he's not performing real teleportation but it makes you think doesn't it i have the table there is nothing on the table and here's the magician look there is nothing up my sleeve as a matter of fact i don't have any sleep now let's do this let's teleport this coin from here to here with my mental powers Boom. Now, once again, before I finish this video, what I did over here, it's one of like five different methods that you could possibly do this thing. And those are not even all the methods. And if you join my Patreon, I will show you, I will show you my method and then I will describe to you five other different ways where you can do that practically in front of a live audience. For those of you that don't want to pay to know the trick, I understand that. I absolutely understand it. We can still look at Alex's video and analyze the shit out of it because I have some questions and I think I want to bring them up to you so you can also kind of question the same thing now every time Ernest Vida or one of his followers or students posts one of these videos. So let's just watch Alex's videos again one more time and let's just ask a couple of questions of things that look slightly suspicious. All right, let's start with some of the more kind of obvious things, which is why does this video looks like it's been filmed with a potato? Like seriously, this isn't an old video of this. This is like about a month ago they post this. And I'm sorry, there's no excuse to have such low quality unless you're trying to hide something, unless you're trying to hide some sort of gimmick. On top of that, there's also no reason to put the little watermark on it. Like nobody's trying to steal this video. I can still play it on my channel because it falls under fair use. So Ernest Vitter, do not try to take this video down with a copyright claim because all of this falls under fair use. We've been through this. We've been through this already. You already tried to take some one of my videos down. You cannot. So stop. So the watermark is unnecessary. Remove it. The quality of the video, it's terrible. It's also for some reason, it looks like the video is playing at double speed. And uh, check out this moment where he shows that there's nothing on his hand, which is a very magician-y thing to do, by the way. Uh, he shows that there's nothing on his hand and that there's nothing on the table and that it's just a regular coin. And then there's a cut. There's a clear camera cut. I'm gonna play it to you right now so you can see. Look at this, nothing on his hand, nothing on his hand, nothing on the coin, nothing on the table, and cut. Should I slow it down? I'm gonna slow it down right here so you can see a little better, but you can clearly see that there's a camera cut, uh, which means that all sorts of things could have happened to that coin and to that table. Now, let's talk about that coin and let's talk about the table. First of all, why do you have to cover it with your hands? Why are you doing this not on a transparent table, for example? On top of that, why is the coin so small? How do we know? How do we know that it is the same coin? Why are you keeping your arms so locked and so straight right in front of the camera? But you know what? Let's wrap this up because I'm honestly really flipping tire of ding and dong here, ruining magic for everybody because yes, that's what they're doing. Uh, for those of you that know me, you guys know that I usually try to give the benefit of the doubt. I usually always say like, okay, you know what? Maybe they are the real deal. With this too, I'm, I'm really struggling because it's just, first of all, Alex here is an actual performer. He is an actual magician who does perform in like theaters and live shows. And guess what? He even said that, yeah, sometimes he just does simple magic tricks and sometimes he does the real deal. You know, and he does this so that he can cover himself from the evil elite government who's gonna abduct him if they find out that he has real abilities. Oh, shit! I mean, you guys can go watch my other videos if you haven't seen it, but like, they're just magic trick. It just, it's so obvious. It's not even funny. It actually, because of this too, I had to reveal some of the magic on this channel and some of my magician friends are actually not even happy about it. So thank you for that. But they left me no choice because the amount of nonsense is just so much that I just can't. 
I just can't like I have I had to do it and I have to keep on doing it. I just think they they should stop. Please stop. At this point, not not only you probably most likely allegedly stealing money from people, but you're also ruining magic for the actual real honest magicians who do like magic shows and stuff. So just please stop. Also, let's stop this video right here. But if you're still here, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Please don't forget to go and check out my Patreon if you want to learn some of There's also other stuff. There's telekinesis. There's mind reading. There is all sorts of like nice effects that you can learn if you join my Patreon. And uh, I would truly appreciate it. And if you're still here, please uh, write in the comment section that enough. Write enough. We add enough. We This nonsense got to stop. And um, I thank you so much. I will see you next time.